Hi friends, today I would like to share with you about topic of remission. What is remission in dementia? Remission means sharing life experiences, memory, and story from the past. Typically, a person with dementia is more able to recall things from many years ago. Then listen to memory, so reminiscence draw on the trend. Recalling the past is a means of owning it and enhance resolving ourselves. How do you use reminiscence? They reminisce about our own time. I thought about all this world behind us. We could reminisce about it and maybe reveal it's all the good we managed to accomplish. It's easier to reminisce on a good memory rather than the bad. When I reminisce, it makes me want to travel back in time to enjoy fun experiences again. Why reminisce is important? Reminiscence involves sharing thoughts and feelings of one's experiences to recall and reflect upon important events within one life. The ability to recall and reflect how older or don't Remember who they used to be in order, in order to help them define their identity in the current moment. What is a remnant in psychology? Remnant therapy. Remnant can be defined as an act or process of recalling past experiences, events, or memories. Although reminiscence involves recall past events, it encourages older patients to communicate and interact with the listener in the present. It reminiscent and emotion. Time reminisce and emotion before after reminiscent were categorized. The large majority of intimacy reminiscence occur in the context of negative emotion. In most cases, changing an initial positive emotion into negative one such as sadness or nostalgia. Can you reminisce about bad things? It's only natural when there are more parts to look back on. The tendency to reminisce in the old age will for a long time seen in a negative way. They are tired of unhealthy dysfunction or eat very lit and noisy to order. Is it healthy to reminisce? Nostalgia, nostalgia is good for you. When we reminisce, life feels more meaningful and death less frightening. The nostalgia is good for us in more ways than one. Research so reminiscing help us feel better about the present and more hopeful about the future. How do I reminisce my past? Fun way to reminisce, you objects, smell, and food to draw memory. Sometimes it's difficult to pull a memory out of thin air. You brought to check your memory, such as photographs, mementos, clothing, or even song, video, food, and smell. It is missing a good thing. Reminiscing helps you, your loved one cope with your own order. And they GS their life meaning by being connected to the past. It also helps reaffirm their feeling of being important. Plus, share the past health senior reflect on their treatment and appreciate what they have done. What is this called when you reminisce? Reminisce is a dreamy way of saying remember the past. If you swap an old story with friends and remembering all the silly things you used to do, when you are reminiscing, Reminiscing is all about the happy recollection and thinking back to story from the past. Why do I always reminisce about the past? By recording a memory of the past, you are remembering it as your brain has chosen to these thoughts, not by the actuality of each event because it is thoughts and pleasant quality. People spend their days wrapped up in the fantasy of fish, longing for it the way some do lover. Why is reminiscing important for elderly? Reminiscing how your loved one cope with their own order as they repeat their life meaning 
by being connected to the past. It should help the affirm their feeling of being important. The same, the past help seniors reflect on their treatment and appreciate what they have done. What is the role of reminiscent therapy? The role of reminiscent therapy to help person reconnect. Reminiscent therapy can help people connect to loved ones, define memory loss. It may help other process certain life events. Reminiscent therapy is effective with older alone. Who developed reminiscent therapy? Dr. Robert Bussler. The idea that reminiscing could be therapeutic was first proposed in the 1960s by Dr. Robert Butler, a psychiatrist who specialized in geriatric medicine. Dr. Butler proposed what many now take as a given. When approaching death, many people find it helpful to put their life in perspective. Remember, subscribe to see the next video. Thank you.